March 28th yep. is the annual date for the voting at the precinct. The voting is from noon to 7 p.m. At, and at 7 p.m. there will be a meeting. Excuse me, go on, 1 o'clock. Oh, excuse me, 1 o'clock. You're there at noon, bring a cup of coffee. <laughs> You're early. As far as the activities, one, I'd like to thank the community for its overwhelming support of the continuation of rubbish and recycling services to the people who are now receiving it. I would also like to mention that on May 14th at our monthly meeting, we have invited and the police chief, the fire chief, and the DPW director have accepted coming to the meeting to present information surrounding an evacuation plan for the beach in the event of an untoward incident. We would encourage everybody to consider going to that meeting. You do not have to be a resident of the precinct. You do not have to vote in the precinct. <coughs> everybody has a common interest in that sort of an issue and, and should, to the extent, come and send someone. Yes. What's the date of that? March, uh, excuse me, May 14th. It's the second Wednesday in May. Time. The General time for our meetings is 5.30. I am not sure whether that meeting, due to its nature, would be later or not. That we would be announcing that in April at our meeting. We haven't really pinned that down just yet because we've only just got the, the agreement of the uh, chiefs and the director. You might, you might want to mention that um, if you can't make the meeting, the meetings are televised. Okay. So you'd be able to see it. They recorded and then recorded. Yeah, they're not televised live. They're not yeah. televised live, but it is on channel 22. Mm -hmm. You can you can see it. And on both of those, Bob, the election will be held where? It will be held at the beach fire station. Downstairs, the fire trucks will be moved out. We've rented tables and chairs, so the bay area of the fire station will be where the election occurs. And on the 14th, do you have a site for that meeting? It will be in the firehouse. We do not yet know whether it will be downstairs or in our meeting room, which is on the second floor. To the extent, if people planned on coming, if they could inform us they were coming, we could get a better sense of how to prepare for whatever number of people and choose. And how would they let you know? They can uh, contact our... Uh, they could contact any one of the commissioners. They could send an email to any one of the commissioners. They could contact the marketing director, uh, John Kane. HamptonBeach.org. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the precinct website, and they can use that. Mm -hmm. As far as the summer, it is our firm belief it will come. Everyone should not give up <laughs> on it. We have a full agenda scheduled, and we are considering but aren't prepared to announce additions to the summer at this time because they're not completely nailed down. But we will have in excess of 16 fire shoots. We'll have 80 to 90 concerts. We will be a major sponsor of Children's Week along with the Chamber of Commerce. We will provide for the Hampton Talent Contest. And, of course, uh, the what's become kind of the crown jewel of the summer, the Sand Sculpture Contest. Beyond that, the precinct has kind of gotten itself engaged in things other than just the promotion of entertainment at the beach. An example of which is our very public footprint in Article 43 in opposing the discontinuance of the trash and recycling pickup. And I would remind people we are not just an extension of the business community. We are a public governmental agency which is, can be engaged in matters and the evacuation is another example of where the precinct is getting involved in broader issues. And that's about it for now. Thank you.